If a cannon shoots a cannonball theta degrees above the horizontal, the horizontal distance traveled by the cannonball before it hits the ground can be found with the function d of theta equals vi squared times sine theta cos theta over 4.9. The initial velocity of the cannonball is 36 meters per second. In part a, we write the function so it involves a single trigonometric identity. Bring up the function for horizontal distance. Rewrite the function so the trigonometric portion is by itself. We know that sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cos theta. Divide both sides by 2 to get 1 half sine 2 theta equals sine theta cos theta. Replace sine theta cos theta with 1 half sine 2 theta. Multiply the fractions. Recall from the question that the initial velocity is 36 meters per second. The answer is d of theta equals 1296 over 9.8 times sine 2 theta. Now we'll move on to part b. Graph the function. Use the graph to describe the trajectory of the cannonball at the following angles. 0 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees. Bring up the function we found in part a. We can rewrite the function as d of theta equals 132.2449 sine 2 theta. The amplitude is approximately 132.2 meters. The period is 180 degrees. Draw the graph. This is the only part of the graph that has meaning for this question. We can't have negative distances, and the cannonball hits the ground only once. At zero degrees, the cannonball hits the ground as soon as it leaves the cannon, so the horizontal distance is zero meters. Note that we are making the assumption that the ground stops the cannonball and it doesn't roll along the ground. At 45 degrees, the cannonball hits the ground at the maximum horizontal distance, 132.2 meters. At 90 degrees, the cannonball goes straight up and down, landing on the cannon at a horizontal distance of 0 meters. Now we'll move on to part C. If the cannonball travels a horizontal distance of 100 meters, find the angle of the cannon. Solve graphically and round your answer to the nearest tenth of a degree. Using a graphing calculator, graph the function shown. The points of intersection occur at 24.6 degrees and 65.4 degrees. The animation shows that both angles will result in the same horizontal distance when the cannonball is fired.